We are out here. Uh huh. Nigga, see the hustle. Huh. Power in the money, money in the power. Minute after minute, hour after hour. Nigga, see the hustle, man. They love it how I get it. Nigga, fuck the talking every day. You gotta live. Huh. Power in the money, money in the power. Minute after minute, hour after hour. Said I gotta get it. See me with it. Yeah, I got it. Now it's time to flip it like the scriptures make a profit. What up, world? It's your boy Trey hitting you with another one off of videomixtape.com. See the hustle. And today I'm here with another young creative director, my man, Justin. AKA Mr. Forever Films. Forever Films. What's going on, King? You all right? Yeah, definitely, man. Appreciate this, man. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, man. Like, I, I like your work, man. I see I see your grind on, on the gram. I see clips of like your work and all that, and it's shot very cool and professionally. Yeah, thanks. Like, you know I appreciate what I'm that. And so this is like another way of st instead of just hitting the like button and throwing the flame emoji, yeah, another, le another level of respect is actually sitting down with the bro, and you know what I'm saying, and actually getting the chance to meet you and, and, and see how you how you do your thing and how you do your work, man. Yeah, man. I definitely appreciate it, man. Yeah, definitely. Because a lot of people will just like and leave the comments and everything when i see some people they show love but you yeah you actually pulled up on me man oh it's yeah dope. yeah 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 it's that time man it's like it's feel like it's like that time even around this area as far as uh the talent wise yeah you know what i'm saying like it was a point in time where the music wasn't at the level where when I, for my experience the music wasn't as crisp as the level of what i was filming at like you yeah, know what i mean yeah, yeah, so yeah, sometimes your your visual outdo the audio on the artist that you work with like you know what i'm saying but now the artists around here their music sounds so good and it matches with the quality of film work that 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 you putting out like you yeah. know what i'm saying so um just so um, tell me a little bit about yourself and your journey man and how long you've been on your creative path as, as a as a filmmaker so i mean i'm i'm born and raised here pretty much right i moved out of town for a few years and I would say I ain't really get into cameras and stuff till I want to say I was about 22. Okay. I mean, I'm 30 now, but right. even when I did get into cameras, I, I didn't know nothing. Right. I just knew I wanted to take pictures. It wasn't even being a fit. This just happened by chance almost. Like, okay. This wasn't my, my goal to... Yeah. Be a videographer. Right. So I always had cameras or whatever, and I I, I started doing music, me yeah. and my brother. Right. And um, a lot of people out here know him. He goes by uh, Rico. Okay. And he records. Yeah. Um, I would say him and Lucidy. So shout out to Lucidy too. Yeah, definitely. Lofty Studios, yeah. Lucidy. Yeah. Um, I would say them two record majority of the people here. Right. So chances are, if you heard any local mixtapes or whatever from the city, especially. Yeah. You know who Rico is yeah. and you know who Lucidy is. So right. I started off doing music or whatever. And I did that for a while. Just something I know how to do. Yeah. And then once I got into like the cameras or whatever, I was just taking pictures. It never crossed my mind to to do video. Yeah. And it's yeah. and it's weird because coming from doing music, you mm -hmm. would think you would just do videos. Yeah. But I started off doing taking pictures or whatever. My very first camera, I think it was a uh, Nikon D3100. Okay. So you know how how long ago so that is. Was it the, which, which one? That, which one that body looked like? It was it was like one of the basic ones. Okay. I don't think it had a flip screen or nothing. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So this was probably six, seven years ago, or whatever. All right. So I started off with that, and then I was just taking pictures like family stuff. Right. Right. Then as it progressed, the ADD came out. Mm-hmm. And then that whole thing, I bought an ADD. I still was taking pictures and just like family video. I never edited nothing, right. yeah. any of that. Long story short, sold the ADD. Okay. Missed it, bought another ADD. That's how it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Start messing around yeah. with video or whatever. And then I would be on YouTube just watching. Right, right. So like Creative Ryan, uh, YC Imaging, right. 2020 Vision, Jacob Owens, mm -hmm. um, and a bunch of just other video directors and stuff who's on right. YouTube yeah. and just learning about uh, aperture, shutter, shutter speed, speed yeah. ISO, uh, sensor size, micro four thirds, mm -hmm. APS-C full frame, yeah. 
And then it got to a point where I mastered that and yeah. I knew how to work a camera. I yeah. knew picture profiles and everything, but I still wasn't shooting videos. Yeah, yeah. So, long story short, my boy Lil You Live, if you uh, follow me on Instagram, I got a couple videos done with him. Okay. And uh, it's my young boy. And shout out to you, Lil You Live, if you ever see this. Shout out to you, man. He's the reason I'm doing videos. Right, 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 right. And, okay. and believe it or not, I haven't even been doing videos for a year. Okay. So, um, I was telling him, like, I'm going to shoot a video for you. But I was, at the time, I was saying it. And at the same time, I was scared because I didn't know. Didn't know, exactly. Okay. You know what I mean? I knew how to work the camera, but mm -hmm. I never shot a video before. Mm hmm but you know for me watching youtube or whatever i kind of knew got your confidence, yeah. yeah i got my confidence and i kind of knew a little bit so right and i mean long story short we shot the first video like literally right here right, okay right up the right, right up the street okay it's like a little abandoned garage okay. and, we, and i shot the video and i edited the video or whatever and uh like that got my confidence up. He liked the video. Yeah. I showed my brothers. I showed a couple people, and nobody said the video was bad. Okay. So like everybody was like, "All right, it's all right," but nobody said it was bad. So that's all I needed to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I saved my money up. I sold my Canon 80D, and then I went all out and I got a Sony A7 III. Okay. Which it shoots 4K, 120 frames a second or right. whatever. So I kind of wanted the the future proof myself. So. I know we going in the, the way of 4K and everything, 4K, exactly. so I wanted to future proof myself and get that out the way. Right, right, right. And right. Uh, I shot that video on the Canon 80D with the 24 millimeter pancake lens. Okay, yeah. You know, because it, it's, it's not too wide, not too close. Mm -hmm. And I shot that on there and, and it was cool. And then um, I shot, I think, two more videos yeah. with the same. My same boy, Lo You Live. Okay. And I did all of those for free just to, to practice on right. my work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, um, he liked it or whatever because, for one, it, I did it for him for free. Mm -hmm. And to anybody who's upcoming, a, as you probably know, if you're just yeah. starting out, you know, find somebody you're comfortable with yeah. and, and shoot with them first. Don't go looking for an artist that's popping in your area none of that because you want to work with somebody you know you know yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i mean because you can take your time and and you can work together yeah because if it's you doing something for free i, I feel like you shouldn't be pressured like pressured when you're doing all. it yeah yeah you know what i mean and, exactly. and when you're working with a complete stranger mm -hmm. it's going to put more pressure on pressure you on you and their expectations and exactly and yeah yeah exactly. and so like my my boy loyal lil he knew i never shot a video before mm -hmm. So uh, I would say neither one of our expectations were were that high. Uh, yeah, yeah. But when he got it, he actually liked it, and like, he had put it out. So that gave me the confidence. And then, like I said, my brother does music. Mm -hmm. We ended up shooting two videos right. on the on the ADD too, and and he put those out. Okay. And people liked it. Liked them. Okay. So that gave me even more confidence. So uh, and. Uh, this is crazy because, and, and I never stop saying shout out to you, uh, Lil. My boy, Lil, you live. Right. My very first paid music video I shot with him. Okay. So, right. and then like once that video came out, and at this time, I probably did four or five videos for yeah. free. Yeah. So, at this time, I had upgraded to the Sony A7 III, so my quality got a little better. Yeah, about, yeah. You know, I got a flat picture profile, whatever, so. I made $150 off my very first video. Right, right. Which might not seem like a lot of money to nobody, but yeah, when yeah. you're getting paid for something that you finally worked hard worked to hard. do, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you almost hit a milestone. It's like, damn, yeah. I really got paid to shoot a music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, with anybody, if you do music and you like, like yeah. even if you get paid to perform somewhere and it's like, damn, I got $200 yeah. to perform. Yeah. You feel like you hit a milestone. Yeah, definitely. I remember so, my first check. I just took a snapshot and just like, yo, I can't believe I just got paid off my first project. But, yeah, you know for real. I mean? It's like, you feel like you made it. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, Understand the business. Business. so, um, that, and then, you know, I, and and this is the grind. I reached out to a bunch of people. Right. I was reaching out. I was reaching out. And, um, like, I wouldn't say nobody believed in my work, but mm -hmm. 
everybody has to see it to believe it. Yeah, exactly. So you yeah. know, and I was I was just charged like trying to charge like give me a hundred dollars or this that, and like uh, a lot of people wouldn't shoot with me. Yeah, which was cool. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. But keep coming back to my boy Lil You Lil and uh, the whole Spark Town movement. Okay. Uh, Glizzy, Lil You Lil. Um, Ma the Don, A Smoke a lot, Lil Kizzy, okay. and these are all of the people who really mm -hmm. gave me my start. Your start, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Without them, I wouldn't be yeah. Forever Films. Forever Films, yeah, definitely. So I mean, long story short, now it's like that's that's it's how I started snow, shooting. It's yeah. World, and then it's just like bam, now you. And, you and it's like out of nowhere, it just it just took off. Um, my boy T Weez, my boy Wave Luciano. Okay. Um, these are like the people who really shot with me and believed in me. Right. So um, that that's pretty much my ground. It, much, yeah. I don't even think since I shot that very first video, mm -hmm. it might be somewhere in like a year right now. Okay. So I've only been doing this for like a year, and um, I guess the work is speaking for itself. Yeah, definitely. And now a lot of those people that I was reaching out to. They're reaching out to me now, mm -hmm. and um, like just you, know, you got to believe in yourself, yeah, invest in yourself, invest in yourself. Yeah. First, invest in yourself because mm -hmm. I feel like if you don't invest in yourself, then nobody else will. Exactly, yeah, and that's where I come from too. As far as that, is investing in myself, and then even like just me being a former artist too. I got the experience on what an artist would look for, like you yeah. know what I'm saying, because I was behind the microphone, and and then I was laying down music, and then now it's just like my creative form took from being behind the mic to being behind the camera, and to know what they're looking for, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that sounds. So good. you kind of progress like so me. So I kind of progress like yeah, like that, and then now it's just at a point where I had to invest in myself too. Like I started back like almost like. Like almost like ten years ago, like you know what I'm saying. Just started with the little cameras. I yeah. forgot. I forgot the name of my camera, but I still got it. It's the long one with the little flip on oh, the, the side. Oh, the little flip joints. Yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's when that shit first came out. I had that little joint. Yeah. I still got it. I'm gonna post it on on my gram later. But that's what I started with. I looked at it now. It was like eight pixel. <laughs> what is it? Eight. <laughs> what is it? I think an eight pixel joint or something crazy now. Like when you look at it. Yeah. But. Uh, I had to find that like when I found my passion, it was just like I love doing it. So it didn't even matter if I made a dollar or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I love I love doing this now. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I listen to uh Creative Ryan too. Yeah. YC. All of them. Like, you know what I mean? The uh, the nerds, all of them. Like yeah, buff, buff nerds. nerds. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like just learning everything. So I just I used the uh, A six with A what was it? Six six three hundred? The Sony? Oh yeah, the A sixty three hundred. Yeah, yeah. I used the Sony on that. It's one. like the little brother yeah. to the one I got. I mean you that's yeah. dope too. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's like even to a point I just stopped chasing like like cameras. I had to stop yeah. chasing it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, you get caught up let in, me just, into that. Yeah, because it's like, all right, now I got everything I need. I like I like my I like my Sony. I like shooting with that one. Yeah. Eventually, I probably upgrade and probably get the Black Magic. Try it out, but I want to get see yeah, trial and, see trial and error. That's what I that's what I was thinking. I want to yeah want to work on something like that. Yeah. So you see trial and error, but it's like like you said, your passion, man, and just investing yourself. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just built into investing in myself, and I trust me, I get a lot of uh, offers like too, as far as like people wanting to work with me. But I got my own way of um, seeing things. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm into script writing now, so I just don't want to just do the traditional style of... Pulling up uh, somewhere, shooting yeah, a video. Pulling up now. Now it's like, all right, I got everything mastered. Now I want to try to take it professionally now, where we script writing, we getting out the city, we going to, a, you know what I mean? We going up to North Jersey. We're going to go to, you know, like, you know what I mean? Vegas or somewhere. Get some quads and have fun. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And just and just do something uh, great. And another one that was up on my end that was inspiring me was my man, uh, Nemi Hendrix. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Nemi. That's my brother's cousin. Right. Nemi, uh, actually, the yeah. one of the, the videos uh, I shot a music video to, yeah. Nemi shot it. Right, right. And this was, this was years ago. And years ago, yeah. And I remember him but as... Nemi's like the... He, he's the, the goat. He's the, yeah, he's the god. Uh, he's the god of film right now. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And him like you know what i mean like 
like I remember him from elementary, like like that's how far yeah, yeah. like I know him. But to see him just be consistent and just like you know what I'm saying, go through his struggle and then elevate it. I was like, damn, yeah, I'm BSing. Like exactly. you know what I'm saying. And another thing I think is like finding your style. Right. And and like like if you watch Nimi Hendrix, like his he has his own style of shooting music videos. It's, right. it's like he's not just gonna pull up and just shoot a music video with nothing to it. Nah. Like he'll turn that down. Turn, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that's, like you said, that's his style. His style, yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like once you find your style, mm -hmm. then you can do the projects you wanna do. Right, right, yeah. You know what I mean? Because even with that, like I get offers, but I just don't, I tell, I, I try to refer them to someone else that yeah. fits their style. Like, you know what exactly. I mean? Cause some people want that. I shoot traditionally. I don't like using too much effects and all this yeah, other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I, I think, you know what I mean? Just my view, it, it won't last. It won't stand the test of time. Like, yeah, you know exactly, what I'm exactly. So if you shoot it traditionally, it'll, 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 it'll last. And I feel like, like that's what Nimi has. Like, and that's what he video, does, yeah. There's not a lot of effects and yeah. there's not none of the, the, uh, how can I say it? Like if you, if you watch videos like that, that the hype effects that everybody's yeah, doing now, yeah, and 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 his videos are dope as hell. Dope as hell. It's it's, it's shot clean. It's yeah, shot exactly. Professionally, like I mean, and that's what I'm into. I'm into that 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 style of, of cinematography. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? He got that mastered, and he, he taught me just to customize my own my own cameras too. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I use the 63. But I did customize it to fit how I want, how you shoot, how yeah. I shoot. Like you know what I'm saying. So even on that note, it's just like man, yo, it's just it's a good time, man. Like so, I, I actually refer people. Like you know what I'm saying. Like now I see your work and how you shoot. I don't I don't take all clients because yeah. I got a certain brand and image for for what I do. So it's exactly. like if like I like 2020 style. Yeah. If y'all want something ramped up and how he does it, kill it. Like yo, refer. Yeah, 2020 is another one that's dope. And, yeah. Um, like uh 20 actually commented on one of my videos and you know what i mean he yeah. said it was dope so yeah shout out the 2020 vision man yeah another guy from south jersey, south jersey who's 20 is dope as hell and like and like this is what i mean when you find your own style if you watch nimi hendrix and you watch a 2020 20, video yeah. they're both dope as hell but they're like on a complete opposite yeah, I, ends of the spectrum right right you know yeah, what i mean yeah. so you can be dope in your own way man in your own way just consistency and you can tell there's a passion behind yeah it. exactly like, you know but yeah man it's like yeah that that's what i like to see and i like what you're doing and the professionalism now it's just taking it to the next level and yeah like you know what i'm saying and i mean like shooting music videos is i'm pretty sure you know as being a videographer cin cinematographer yeah that's not like my my end goal like i also want to do like weddings and okay small business commercials and okay just different stuff not necessarily just shooting music videos music or videos. even like short films and yeah different yeah. different things i can't even front i'm actually i actually went to a lang city center fest uh film festival in, uh last year it should be coming up in july august or something like that yeah we meet probably need to even yeah, check that out. Go like, check that out. Yeah, but yeah, I actually got invited there, and they actually got me into wanting to do short film now. So actually, that's my next goal, the next step to actually start working on projects like that. Like you know, what I'm saying, and incorporate the music longer length. I like how TDE film film their project. Um, that's um, with like Kendrick Lamar and them. Yeah, I like I like whoever does their projects, man. Like all of them look like consistent, and it's. It's an art film without, without the glamour. Like you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just yeah. a dope story behind it. And I just like that. Like you know yeah, what I mean? exactly. So, but yeah, man. Like, uh, where you, where can they find you if uh, anybody be work on your on your end as a film? Um, director? I'm on Instagram yes, at. Man. I just changed it. Let me make sure I'm giving y'all the right thing. You just changed it. Okay. Yeah, because I changed my personal page. Okay instead of trying to rebuild yeah. a new page because everybody knew me. Yeah. So, but I mean, so now, a lot of people didn't know. Okay. I mean, they seen the videos, mm -hmm. but they didn't know it was me shooting. So it's like now, like I remember one time I had posted a picture and everybody was like, oh, that's you shooting them yeah. videos. And I'm like, yeah. And they like, why didn't you say nothing? I'm like, because I rather people see the work. Yeah. Let the work speak for itself. Exactly. Instead of, 
I don't I never want nobody to spend money with me just because we cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Because I wouldn't want to spend money, say with you, just because I know you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I would rather spend the money with somebody I didn't know who's passionate about doing something yeah. with me. Right. Instead of just somebody I know. Right. Because even how I work, like I go above and beyond anyway. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even when you do a project or if somebody asks you like you know what I mean they they want something done I'm still thinking of a way to even actually incorporate it because it still represents me yeah exactly regardless. everything like, you know puts what I'm out saying? so it's like I'm not gonna cheat myself just because you want this done and you can't afford it but I see something totally different I'm like yeah nah, it's it's gonna look right if you have this so you know what I mean so exactly. even even with that I, I feel you on that one so what's some challenges you face even as like now that you're progressing what are some challenges you face when you're working with people uh, i think like one of the biggest challenges is is just doing a music video is working with the artist not necessarily yeah the uh the money part of it because that's with anything like yeah. you'll get people trying to negotiate and everything but you got to stand firm on you got to set a bar for yourself yeah Stand firm on your on your price or whatever you want to get paid. Yeah, exactly. And then if you really feel passionate about a song or something or an idea that somebody else has mm -hmm. and you like the idea, then yeah. you know you can say, All right, I really like that idea. So right. how about I not profit money and let's put this money into getting some things that yeah. can make this short film or this video yeah. actually dope or whether it's getting a uh, uh, a house or a mm -hmm. car or anything Location. like that props yeah, yeah. yeah props, just something like that. so if somebody came to me with a dope song that I, I hear and I get a vision for yeah then I could be like you know what how about we just take that money mm -hmm. and go get this location yeah and let's let's rent this house for the day and let's rent this car for the day and let's get a little bit of props and right. and and do it right do it right yeah because i like to be challenged too like, yeah you know exactly saying? so if it feels like it's not gonna it's not it's not challenging it's not it's not kind of so, like worth it like yeah. i mean in a sense that's a challenge it's like artists come to you with these these grand ideas and mm -hmm. they forget that for us mm -hmm. we have to get paid too for our time yeah. and it's not just the shooting part no 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 the no, editing no. the late night ed exactly <laughs> They don't. Yeah. They don't see the nights where we're up to two, uh, three in the morning, in the morning. trying to finish a, pro yep. a project. So for me, it's it's the grand ideas that they have, which is cool. Yeah. But we have to get paid for we that. Have to. Yeah, definitely. And and then another thing is like I think sometimes artists want to do like a bunch of locations and everything. Mm -hmm. And for me, I always tell artists like, yo, like your song is only two minutes. Mm -hmm. If we did five locations plus b-roll yeah you might only get two yeah. clips two or three clips out of four seconds three seconds out of each location yeah. in the video so yeah. how why not let's just cut three of the locations out mm -hmm. we use two locations but we shoot those locations from different angles. angles right like i literally just did a video yesterday okay. and i shot this i shot three close-ups mm -hmm. of three different people and a wide shot because there's three people on the song so each of them had their verses where it is just well, a single so, shot so, of them so, performing yeah. there and then i did a wide shot with a group shot mm -hmm. all within one location okay but you would never be able to tell that it was in one location mm -hmm. so they just think that all right let's go here like they might see the front of this house mm -hmm. and say all right let's go to this other location but you didn't even check the back, the back of it. Yeah. You ain't checked the side of it. You ain't see like yeah. the different angles we can get yeah. here. Because they come from the perspective look... of the artist. Exactly. And then, and that's what I say too is trust. Yeah. It's like the challenges I face too is one probably like when you congregate a little bit too long when we need to get this project up and rolling. Yeah. Like, you exactly. Know what I'm like, exactly. Like I don't. I'm not a smoker like that, so I don't. I don't sit around and just. I don't smoke, smoke at all. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't have, really drink, so I, I get where you come. Yeah. From I don't have that. weed sessions and none of that. I like to just have my time. What are we doing? Okay. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. See, you work like me. Yeah. Let's let's get it done, and then it, too, it's sometimes it's cool, but it's like creative control. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like I'm doing this. I know my value. 
and it's like I'm doing it even if I'm I'm doing it at a, at, a, at a decent price for you but it's creative control on that end so I gotta yeah. be able to work with the artist too that even trust me on what I'm doing because I've been doing this for so it, long see like for instance the video shoot I did yesterday okay we uh one location two location three locations and that took us about two hours yeah and once I said all right no mm -hmm. this is what we're doing it went like that yeah and and it went smooth, it went smooth yeah. so sometimes I feel like uh, music videos people think they need 20 30 people when in all reality it makes it harder for us to control yeah. the environment, yeah, the environment exactly. like and you got people walking in front of the camera walking in front of the artist and mm -hmm. and the artist not being focused because it's too many too, too much many. going on yeah. like that's another struggle like right. just having the artist focus on his performance, performance yeah because there's so many people around yeah yeah exactly yeah so that's kind of what i'm favoring now it's like like i need only like two to three artists or two to three people in certain scenes if yeah exactly they're, if they're not if they're not around to do anything in the background like i just need them to be out the way a little bit like exactly you know yeah like no no more just street gang videos yeah like that sometimes for me it's like like and you know what i mean like let's just tighten it up on yeah the and i mean that's cool yeah that's cool to do if you as the artist got everything under, under control. control yeah yeah that's it just control yeah, yeah control exactly the, if control you got everything under control yeah that's cool right you know what i mean but that's another struggle and another thing is uh another thing that that i don't like for say is like a lot of people inbox me they ask me my prices, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people say they, they want to shoot this day or they want to shoot this day. And I try not to do deposits with people. Right. Because, you know what I mean? Anything can happen. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. it, like I can get sick or mm -hmm. the artist could get sick or like anything. Yeah, life like, happens. Yeah, definitely. So just say I have your deposit and something happens, like the artist might not understand or the artist might think I'm BSing or trying to get over. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's another thing. Like right now I'm stuck. Like, like if I should do deposits or not take deposits, yeah. like that's another big thing for me right now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, those are the few things that's, that's like, I guess we all face as yeah. creators. Like, you know what I'm saying? But once you figure it out and then even being truthful and upfront with, yeah. with the, with the, with the artist or whatever project you're doing, like you know what I'm saying that's why I say we're, we're directors and not no cameraman like, yeah you know exactly I mean? like I'm not a cameraman it's I'm not just not a cameraman they don't see the editing yeah, and yeah. everything else we do yeah like yeah. the equipment we buy and yeah like um you shoot 4k I shoot 4k is like even the, the computers we use I don't know I use a 27 inch iMac and yeah. Same like here, yeah. I had a 13 inch MacBook Pro but the 4k it just okay. just didn't handle it because yeah. I use uh Adobe Premiere Pro. Same, yeah. And and they don't really even realize that we pay monthly for that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, there's so many expenses that they don't see. Little ones, little little ones. Little, little expenses. Yeah. Like, like that's like probably like I don't know what ten, fifteen, thirty dollars a month. However, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever software. Programs. I think mine is like thirty a month. Yeah. So you know it. It, it adds up. Yeah, like, like uh, you know what I'm saying. So memory that's what, cards. Yeah. Batteries. Yeah. Uh, so even that's Stabilizers So even that's what I do Even with pricing Like you yeah. know what I'm saying It's like If I'm doing it for you Like at a At a decent rate Where it's that I need To substitute that The price that I charge I need total control Like you know what I mean Yeah Creative exactly control. Like you know what I mean On my end Cause I gotta enjoy I gotta like what I'm doing too Yeah exactly like, you know I mean? So But yeah de Definitely man I like what you're doing I like your work and um, definitely looking forward to actually doing this again and actually yeah. doing a little bit more as far as building. And where can they find you at? Um, on Instagram at underscore forever. And that's F-O-R-E-V-E-R-F-I-L-M-S -E underscore. So underscore forever films underscore. Right. You'll see the double Fs. Right. You'll see the double Fs. All right. So on that note, this is your boy Trey with my man Justin, Forever Films. E-Trade, Alpha Storm Films, and we out of here. All right, man. Back home. Peace. Huh, power in the money, money in the power. Minute after minute, hour after hour. Niggas see the hustle, man, they love it how I get it. Nigga, fuck the talking every day, you gotta live. Huh, power in the money, money in the power. Minute after minute, hour after hour.
said I gotta get it, see me with it, yeah, I got it. Now it's time to flip it like the scriptures make a profit. Power in the money, if I get it by the minute, imagine what I can make in an hour, getting money, billion dollar dreaming. Prince I